Hi YouTube! So, here I am with a new Linux driver tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to use threads in a Linux kernel module. So let's jump right into it. Here I am connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and I have already CD into my Linux driver tutorials folder. And here I have all the various um, Linux kernel modules I have written in this series and of course I will upload a um, source code which I will produce today to a GitHub repository so you can use it and take a look at it. And as a template for our threading Linux kernel module I will use this simple hello world Linux kernel module. So let's let me just copy the folder here and I will create a new folder I will call 14 kernel threads. Okay so let's change it to this folder here. And here we have the source file for our Linux kernel module and a make file to build it. So first thing I will do is I will rename my module.c to kfred.c and when I change the name of the source file I have to change it in the make file as well. So here I will change this to kfred.o. Okay, so now let's open up kfred.c. This is just the source code for a simple Linux um, kernel module which will print out hello kernel and goodbye kernel to the kernel's log. First thing I will do here is I will change the description and then I will tell you what I will do with this kernel module. So module description a simple example for threads in a Linux kernel module. Okay, so the plan for today is I will create two threads and and this and in my initialize function I will start both threads and they should run in parallel parallel until I unload my kernel module. So that's the plan for today. But first I will need some more include files here. So first include I need is called kfred h and in here we can find all the functions needed for thread handling. The second one I will need is linux.chat for scheduler.h. Here I will need the definition of the struct task struct which will represent our thread. And last um, include file I will need is delay.h because I will use some delay functions in my thread. Okay, the next thing I will set up here is are some global variables for the threads. Okay, so static struct. I say um, the information about the struct is stored in a struct called task struct, and here I will create a Post struct pointer I will call kfred1 for my first kernel thread and here kfred2 for my second kernel thread. Then I will add two more um, integer variables. First I will name t1 and I will set it to 1. Second one I will give the name t2 and I will set it to 2. These are the data I want to pass to my kernel um, function. Oh, to my threads function, sorry. Okay, so now let's implement um, the function which should be executed by the threads. So the return value has to be an integer. Then we can choose any name. I would just type thread function. I know I'm not very creative today, but never mind. And this function has one argument. This argument is a pointer of a type void. And inside here we can put some data we want to pass to um, the function. But I won't name it data, I will write here thread number because this will be a pointer to an integer variable which will indicate the number of the thread. So maybe let's add some comments here. Brief um, function which will be executed by the thread. Param thread number pointer to number of the thread. 
Okay. So, and here I will declare a variable on site int, and I will set it to zero here, which I will use for encounter, and I will use a second variable t number, and here I will cast um, my void pointer to an integer pointer, and then we'll read the name of the value of it. And I will store it in the variable t number. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing I will do is I will create a working loop. And this will not be an infinite loop, but um, as long as function k fret should stop returns um, zero, I will execute um, the code inside this loop. Because um, first, um, I think it's a variable in the task struct. As long as one variable here is false, this function will return zero for the thread. But if I stop the thread by using the k thread stop method, which we will use just in a minute, um, this will return false and the loop keeps being executed. But if we stop the function, this will return true and the loop will abort and we will um, execute the code down here. So first, let's write the code down here. k fret, um, fret, number of fret, um, finished execution. And here I will print out my fret number. And while this loop keeps being executed, so let's take this here, k fret fret is executed, counter well, and here I will just print out the value of our counter here, and I will increment the counter. And with the function m sleep for millisecond sleep, I will add some delay here. Okay. And because this is an integer, and this function should return an integer, I have to return an integer value here, and I will return zero to indicate um, the function was executed correctly. Good. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to set up um, our threads, and I want to show you two um, ways to do it. So here. Um, Fred, and Fred, okay. So the first um, way to do it is by using the function k fret create. This will create a thread, and as an argument, I need um, the function the thread should execute, which is fret um, function here. The second one is a pointer. To the data we will pass up here. So in my case I have to um, use the pointer t1 and the last argument is a string which will identify this thread and I will set it to kfred1. Okay, this function will only create the thread, it won't start it. And if the creation was successful, we have a pointer which is not equal to null. Oh, not while. And if um, the thread was created successfully, let's start the thread. And we can do this by using the method um, wake up process. And as an argument, all we have to pass is a k fret one pointer to our struct here. Wake, sorry. And here I will print out to the kernel's lock k fret fret one was created and is running now. 
cool. But in case we will get a zero pointer back here, I will print out kfred could not be created and I will return with minus one. So this is the first way to start a thread, but there is a second way. So here we have needed two functions, kfred create and wake up process. But if we use kfred run, this will create a thread and will um, run it. As a return value here, I'm sorry, this should be um, 2, kfred2. So if kfred2 is unequal to null, I can just copy this here. Okay, it's running now. But if not, let me copy these two lines here. So thread 2 could not be created. And, but before we return here, we have to um, stop thread 1, which we have started up here. And to um, stop a thread, we can use the kfred stop function, and we have to pass um, the thread the pointer to the threads structure we want to stop, which is kfred1 in my case here. Okay, and if we can come so far, I will print out here um, kfred both threads are running now. And here in our exit module, if we remove our module from the kernel, I have to stop both threads here. So, okay, thread stop one and two. And let me change this here to um, okay, thread stop both threads. Okay, and that's it. That's how to use threads in a Linux kernel module. So let's try to compile it and run the program. So I will call my make file here. Let's see how much mistakes I have made. Okay, here I have a typo. T1 is not declared. Okay, yeah. Let's look at it again. Oh, okay. This is one error here. Okay. Thread, okay. This should be here. Here I have made the same mistake. This should be T1. So much typos. <laughs> but here I have typed it correctly. Strange. Okay, but never mind. No, this was correct. This wasn't. Fred. Fred. Okay, Fred. Fred. Okay, so let's try it again. Looks good. So let's try to load our kernels module. Red.ko. Let's look at the kernels block. So here we see both threads um, were initialized. And here we see um, thread 1 is um, will be executed every second, and thread 2 will only be executed every two seconds. And if we remove um, our module from the kernel, Okay, this will take some time because it needs some time for the threads to finish. And here we can see now stop, um, stop both threads and now both threads finished execution. So great, this is how to use threads in a Linux kernel module.
i hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and goodbye